So after two overs, it's eight for none. Bengal Tigers, they won the toss and they just, they've chosen to bat first. It startled many here upstairs that they decided to bat first because of the due factor which will come into play. And we saw that um, yesterday's game. But that was a delightful boundary from uh, Sandy. He stepped out in style, got the ball on the full and he hit that one into the gap for a well-deserved boundary. So which means that Bengal Tigers, since they have decided to bat first, they need to post a score which can take away the due factor. They need to get a score about 160, 170 and that will uh, prove difficult for uh, Mumbai heroes. Because they couldn't uh, chase yesterday, that, that was playing in their mind, that's why they decided to bat first. The wicket looks good, it's a good wicket to track, good wicket to bat. That was Boni Kapoor, the owner of uh, Bengal Tigers. Good effort there by Apoorva. I think he's hurt himself. Apoorva, he's hurt himself. No, oh, that's uh, the finger. Don't like uh, to see the physio running onto the ground. Ajaz Asai, the physio of uh, Mumbai Heroes, it was struck really hard, taking it on the full and uh, well, an impact must have uh, had some impact on the, on the fingers and all the tapes are out. It doesn't look good at all. Apurva is such an important player for Mumbai Heroes. He's an impact player, a brisk knock for him uh, can uh, turn the game for Mumbai heroes but this is what happened, good effort by Apurva, he had to run towards his right and then he dived in the end to stop that delivery. So he prevented some runs from being scored but in the process I think he's injured his uh, finger. It was a powerful hit from uh, Joy. We'll have to wait and um, see what kind of treatment Esan, the physio, is giving him. He's trying to straighten the finger, it seems. I hope it's not dislocated. Ajaz Asai, who's been uh, with the Mumbai team as a as a physio, I'm sure he'll be taking care of that. It's a concern looking Sohil Khan. what happened earlier surely saved some runs for his team but in the bargain had an impact on his uh, finger in escorted uh, out uh, by Ajaz Asai the physio that's not what the Mumbai heroes would have uh, hoped for Yeah, I think the physio has done a decent job here, plastered two fingers together so that the injury is not aggravated. So we're back again, back live. Pulls, pulls well, he'll find the gap, yes he does. It goes to the fence. It gets into great position to play that shot, Sandy. Wasn't a very good delivery from Sunny Singh. Pitches it short and uh, Sandy is in good position to just pull it away. Uh, put it uh, towards the square leg boundary. That's the second boundary has hit. Shot! He goes in there, this time on the offside. He'll get another boundary. So he's made his intentions very clear, concerned look on the supporters of uh, 
Mumbai heroes. A consecutive boundary is there for Sandy. He uh, this time goes over the top of uh, the infield. And, uh, taking full toll of this uh, field restrictions in the first six overs. Still a slip in place. He moves out at the last minute. There's some disturbance near the side screen. And that tells you the story that uh, they're concentrating hard. A lot of stakes are put on this match. This start is in such a contrast to whatever transpired yesterday while they were chasing uh, 150. First um, four or five overs, they hardly got, hardly got any runs on board, the Bengal Tigers. Same faces, same resources, but this time it's the, it's the intent which is so clear. Sandy is not very happy. Someone is moving in front of the side screen. Now he's okay. A much better delivery from uh, Sunny. He adjusted his length. So these two dot deliveries uh, will, will add the pressure on Sandy. But he's done quite well so far. And that's a better length, a better line. Not giving the batsman any room. And uh, equally well played by Sandy. that ball moved in a bit after three overs it's 17 without loss